Namaste. Welcome to Yoga and You. My name is Mansi. I'm a teacher at the Rutland Gate Studio. Today I'm going to demonstrate the breathing Aniloma Viloma for prenatal women. During pregnancy, your emotions are all over the place. Hormones are raging through your body and you need some way to balance them. The practice of the Anloma Viloma Pranayama with no holes, holes cannot be practiced by pregnant women at all, is extremely beneficial. It is a very easy pranayama to do and I will now demonstrate it. Right hand should be in Vishnu Mudra. For Vishnu Mudra, the first two fingers are bent towards the base of the spine. The thumb is kept outwards. The left hand is kept in Chin Mudra. You can place the index finger at the base of your thumb or you can place it at the tip of your thumb. These two are kept at knee level. I'm going to now begin by placing my right thumb on my right nostril. Anuloma Viloma always begins with the left nostril. There is no counting for pregnant women. You inhale till you're comfortable. Block the right nostril and, sorry, left nostril and exhale right. Inhale through the right. Block right, exhale left. This is one round of Anuloma Viloma. You can practice how many ever rounds you want till you are comfortable. Minimum is six rounds. Please do not practice with any counts or with any holds. Hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. This is a sequence to help cool your body down. Roll your tongue and push it out of your mouth as far as possible and inhale through your mouth. Close your mouth and push your chin down into your throat. Gently lift up and breathe out. This is called Shitri Pranayam. If you cannot roll your tongue, then do Shitkari Pranayam where you just inhale through your teeth. Close your mouth, lock your chin, chin up and breathe out. The next pranayam is called Chandrabeda Pranayam, which is to increase the moon quality in your body. Put your right hand in the mudra as shown and cover your right nostril. Inhale and exhale only through your left nostril. Do this 10 to 15 times. your fingers in the Varun Mudra where your thumb and your little finger are touching. Do the mudra on both hands and sit down comfortably for at least 10 minutes. You will see a marked difference in the temperature of your body. Namaste, my name is Rohini and I am the owner and teacher at Chennai Yoga Studio. Uh, today I'm going to introduce to you a style of breathing that's called Ujjayi breathing. It is the primary foundation of the Ashtanga style of yoga practice. Uh, it's also called as the breath of fire uh, in English and what that means is it builds heat from within. Um, it helps you become more flexible and helps you get deeper into the posture. In other styles of yoga, pranayama is just restricted to 5 minutes before or 5 minutes after the practice. But in all honesty, we never stop breathing through our lives. In this Ashtanga style, the Ujjayi breathing is something you practice through the entire asana practice. So what does it look like? Um, it almost sounds like a soft snoring sound. 
how you do it is imagine you have a, gl a glass in front of you and you want to fog it up with your breath. So you'll blow ha, right? So just do the same thing but with your mouth closed. So it causes a small constriction to your throat and it sounds like this. So you breathe in. So it almost sounds like the soft sound of an ocean, right? Um, and if you can maintain this breath through the entire practice, you'll find that you're able to hold asanas a lot longer without your muscles quivering and your mind darting about everywhere. So hopefully that helps you keep your practice a lot more steady than where it is now.